Hello, I am Robert Bilo with Citation Customer Support, and I'm here to help with CessNav subscription codes. That is the code that must be entered for the Windows-based Citation Performance Calculator or the Electronic Operating Manual to keep running for one year at a time. Remember, we are talking about Windows here. If you are using iPad versions of CP Calc or the EOM or CL Calc, then you really do not need this video. There are other instructional videos for the iPad. If you're watching this, chances are that either your subscription code is about to expire or has expired, you are installing Cessnav on a new computer, you are installing Cessnav for the first time. I'd like to cover a few basic concepts. First, whenever we send a Cessnav disk out, the current subscription code is on the Cessnav disk label. Sometimes that answers the question. Although, if you received that disk before last December, that code will be expired. Second, these codes always expire at the end of the year. That does not necessarily mean that your subscription expires. It just means that you need to enter a new code. Each year in mid-November, Cessna generates new codes and distributes them to everyone who has an active Cessnav subscription. In 2013, for the first time, we used email to distribute subscription codes to as many operators as possible rather than using paper letters. We hope that our use of email for this will be mutually beneficial. Here is one of the emails that we sent in late November. Notice that it comes from Cessna support, so please check your email for that. The link that says subscription code will open a document that provides your code and general information. How to load the code. The easiest way is to wait until the program prompts you. This happens the first time you ever open the program and CPCalc and the EOM use the same code. So when you enter it for one, the other sees it. In December, one month before the code expires, when you open either CPCalc or the EOM, you will see a message that says your code is about to expire. Would you like to enter a new code now? In the EOM and in more recent versions of CPCalc, you can highlight the entire code in our letter and paste it in all at once, which is, which is not only handy, it prevents typing errors. The program will ask you if today's date is correct and will tell you your new expiration date. Click yes. Then you're done. Note, we never use the letter O nor the letter L. If it's round, it is a zero. If it's straight, it is a one. If you do not enter a code when prompted, the program will still open. But after December 31st, the message will be more assertive. After January, the program will not open unless you enter a new code. You are allowed to enter these codes early. On the day we send them out, you can enter them by opening either CP Calc and select Tools or the EOM and select Help, then select Subscription Code. There is a small trick to this. In this case, you are manually opening a dialog box. It did not open on its own. That means that when you are done, you must close the dialog box. Just remember, when you see this and click yes, the job is done. If you'd like to check your expiration date, click help, then click about, and look for either CPCalc or CessNav expiration date. If you need a code for any reason, please send an email to both rblo at cessna.com and Customer care at Cessna.com. That email will go to at least three people. The first person to see it will respond. In the subject line, just type subscription code and your aircraft serial number. In the message, please type your name and phone number. If your need is urgent, please call either Technical Publications at 316 517 5800, option 3, or Pilot Services at 316-517-7717. This is Robert Bilo, wishing you happy landings.